Dear students, today we will discuss Water Resources Chapter 3rd. In this chapter we will discuss Hydrological Cycle or Water Cycle Important Facts and Figures of Water Resources Water Scarcity Causes of Water Scarcity Conservation of Water Resources Water cycle. Water cycle is also known as hydrological cycle. In water cycle, there is the continuous circulation of water between Earth and its atmosphere. In water cycle, various processes are involved such as evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation, and runoff. Evaporation means due to ultraviolet radiations of the sun. These water vapors are condensed into minute water particles. They attain a structure called as clouds. That process is known as condensation. These minute particles of water starts joining due to low temperature and are abruptly converted into water droplets and snowflakes. That process is known as precipitation. Precipitation also known as falling of rain, snow and hail. After falling rain, snow on the land, that water starts flowing from higher slopes towards the oceans and seas with the help of small streams and big rivers. Again, that water which is joined in the oceans starts evaporating and so on. The primary source of water is precipitation or rain. Important facts and figures of water resources. More than 70% of Earth's area is covered with water. But there is small quantity of water which we can use. Ninety six point five per cent of water is found in oceans. We cannot use that water because it contains high concentration of salt or it is saline water. As I already told you, we are using small proportion of fresh water that contains 2.5%. 96.5% plus 2.5% constitutes 99%. Then there is the remaining 1% that 1% of water is again on the land but that is salt water 0.93% is saline groundwater and 0.07% is salt water lakes for us 
there is 2.5% fresh water which we are using out of 2.5% there is 68.6% that is in the form of glaciers and ice caves groundwater that constitutes 30.1% these two percentages cannot be directly used because they are in the form of glaciers which is found on the Greenland and Antarctic continent. Then there is remaining 1.3%. This quantity of fresh water is available for us out of 1.3 percent that is surface and other fresh water out of this 73.1 percent is in the form of ice and snow on the highest mountains which is melted during the summer season and flows in the form of small streams and rivers 20.1% it is in the lakes which we are using these two constitutes 93.2% and then there is the rest 6.8% 6.8% you can see here 0.22% of water is in the atmosphere in the form of water vapors which we have discussed in the water cycle 0.22% water that is used by the biological water or plants and animals 0.46% of water is flowing in the rivers of the world 2.53% of water is found in the swampy and marshy lands and at last 3.52 percent of water is absorbed by the soil that was about the fresh water which is available for us that contains only 1.3 percent Now, India receives 4% of the global precipitation and its rank is 133 in the world in terms of availability of water. Total renewable water resources of India are estimated as 1897 square kilometers per annum. It is the area on which water resources are flowing. Water scarcity and its causes. Water scarcity means shortage of water. According to the Falcon Mark, a Swedish expert he has explained water scarcity as water stress occurs when water availability is between 1000 and 1600 cubic meters per person per annum. It means that Water scarcity occurs when water is available less than 1000 cubic meters. And water stress means it is very near to the water scarcity. Conditions are like that. There is not water scarcity but conditions are very near to the water scarcity. 
when it is water stress it means that water is available between 1000 to 1600 cubic meters if it would be more than 1600 cubic meters it means that there is availability of water now i have told you three terms here water uh, scarcity water stress and water availability if it is water scarcity it means that it would be less than 1000 cubic meters when it is water stress that is between 1000 to 1600 cubic meters if it would be water availability in any region means they have the more than 1600 cubic meters per annum on the earth nature has provided us large quantity of water which is renewable but there are various countries and regions who are facing water scarcity and it has been estimated that in 2025 2 billion people of the world will face water scarcity what would be the reasons we will discuss causes of water scarcity variation in seasonal and annual precipitation sometimes monsoons come to india very late farmers of india have has to face various problems at that time they are facing water scarcity in some states they are using underground water for the agricultural purposes like Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh they are using more and more ground water for the agricultural crops they are over exploiting underground water excessive use we are using more fresh water for the other activities some people have not access of water like Rajasthan such people have to take fresh water from the far distances India has huge population they need more water for the growing of crops due to this water security will be faced for doing agriculture they are using chemical fertilizers and pesticides due to these fertilizers and pesticides water it, water is polluted it is not available for utilization due to industrialization and urbanization water has been polluted at large scale you know greenhouse gases are emitted into the atmosphere cause the acid rain or they are directly throwing chemicals on the water body into the water bodies the result is that water is polluted water is available but we cannot use that water approximately 22 percent of electricity is generated from water by the dams now it is that water which is stored by the construction of dams which is stored for some time and that water becomes stagnant and gets polluted conservation of water resources conservation means preservation we have two questions here why do we conserve water and how do we conserve water first we will discuss why do we conserve 
we conserve water in order to protect ourselves from the health hazards in order to produce more food for the more population of india in order to continuation of our livelihood in order to do various productive economic activities whether it would be primary secondary or tertiary activities we conserve this water in order to prevent our natural environment we protect this precious resource from the over exploitation and mismanagement because if such processes will going on they will spoil its quality and it will cause ecological crises that may have profound impact on our lives now second question is here how to conserve and manage water resources we should not waste this fresh water we should avoid or minimize the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides for the agricultural purposes we should not we should not use fresh water for the gardening and washing purposes instead of this we should use rain water treat industrial wastes before throwing into water bodies don't waste the water during washing cleaning clothes and utensils there should be the proper disposal of sewage and other household wastes the most important conservation process is rainwater harvesting particularly done in those areas which have the water scarcity like rajasthan we can conserve this water by the construction of river valley projects or dams we have to plant more and more trees due to which there would be the more transpiration more water vapors into the